The Morehouse School of Medicine says blame someone else after students failed to get checks for more than $6,000. Students say the school promised financial aid money, then backed out, but the school says that payment is just on hold for now. Our Tori Cooper spoke to students and school officials about what went wrong and how they're addressing the financial controversy. Yeah, the president of Morehouse School of Medicine tells us that she had to delay the money that was promised to students because the Department of Education asked them to wait till January 7th. But they're now telling us they will do everything they can to make sure students feel supported. We did not break our promise. Morehouse School of Medicine President Valerie Montgomery Rice says the purpose of promising students $6,300 each was to help students address increasing costs in housing, food, transportation, insurance, and child care brought upon by the pandemic. But she says that promise was met with some pushback by the U.S. Department of Education. And so that raised... Um, I shouldn't say concerned, but it raised a question to the Department of Education. Rice says the DOE was concerned that some of the costs may not be covered under the COVID-19 CARES Act. And in turn, the DOE then asked Morehouse to hold off on distributing the money to students until January 7th. And they asked them to require students to show documentation demonstrating a financial need. It was supposed to be no strings attached, whatever um, need you may have. Students felt the school should have waited on that financial approval before making that promise to students. The school says other schools around the country were not required to get additional approval first. Morehouse says the DOE will also now require students to fill out a CARES Act emergency application form to receive $4,800. But students who qualify and can show proof of child care expenses will qualify for the full $6,300. The president also tells us that just since yesterday, they have received an additional 88 requests for this financial assistance. They say that they are working to get these approved for students by tomorrow. Reporting in Southwest Atlanta, I'm Troy Cooper, CBS 46 News.